Okay, so the problem is I will um, explain uh, how uh, what it is doing. So, for example, if you open um, an Outlook, I'm using uh, uh, Office 365, so it's um, Outlook 365, the latest version, and I have uh, installed all the patches uh, until yesterday. And uh, if you open, you can receive and send an email. I, I it, I can confirm you can send and receive all the email but when you for example reply to an email or open a new email here email address to whom you want to send to email and as you, you you can see cursor is blinking that means you can type here but when you click here and start typing I will move down you can see you cannot type here and here's supposed to be uh, my signature underneath but the signatures are missing too so like it's totally blank so the same thing happening when when you try to reply an email you can see the message and here you can type so press space you can type press space you can type but as soon you press enter it will disappear see it disappeared so I contacted um, Microsoft for this issue because I was having this issue on uh, four computers uh, and all started yesterday and contacted uh, Microsoft and uh, they they acknowledge that uh, there is uh, an issue with uh, with their outlook and the engineers are uh, working on it I will show you what what they told me and uh, I will also apply the workaround what what they have told me so stay tuned let's first I will show you their reply okay so here is the solution from the Microsoft you can see highlighted in yellow they provided two solution number one they said yeah there is an issue on the outlook on PC app or on laptop you can go to outlook on the web which is a web version of outlook or you can see underneath they gave a command which you can apply in admin command prompt and that will take the outlook to the previous working version which i really like the the workaround so uh, we don't like to go to the outlook on the web and uh, let's go and apply the second workaround which will take our outlook to the previous working version so let's apply that fix so because we don't want to use uh, owa which is an uh, online version of outlook we will um, uh, go back to the previous version of outlook and uh, remember i, I told you that uh, even you uninstall the update it won't take you to the previous version of the outlook so we will use uh, the recommended method here told by the microsoft here you can see I have uh, copy and paste the command in in, uh, in a word document so let's open the command prompt run as admin okay so here we just copy and paste that command let's see so double check everything because they said you also need to include these quotes so i did those as well press enter So looks like uh, it's saying checking for update, download office updates. So maybe it's uh, going back to the previous version. We'll see what would be the end result.
Okay, looks like it's done. Save your work. Before we continue, we need to close the following apps. Okay, so Microsoft Outlook is gonna restart. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Press continue. Applying update. Office is updating. So it looks like they are updating the office. I believe not updating, they are downgrading Office to its previous working version. Your Office update have been installed, you can use the Office apps now. Okay, 